my role as a producer um, is kind of the person that's like the guiding force um, throughout the production. So it kind of starts with the client coming to us um, and I'll sit down with our production coordinator, Caitlin, um, and we'll talk through um, what the client like wants out of the live stream. And from there, it's kind of my responsibility to put a number to what their vision is and then you know get them going on a contract. Um, and then as it goes like throughout my job, the other thing I do is I like maintain relationships with clients as well as vendors, like rental houses or any other you know support system that would help out the live stream. Um, and then I'm also the liaison between the client and the crew on set, which is important where the, if the client wants something done, you know they'll come to me first and I'll you know go to the right crew to make it happen. Um, and so you're probably wondering, like, throughout pre-production, what does the producer do? Um, the main thing, like I said, you budget out the vision and negotiate the contracts. Um, another important thing that a producer does is clearing the location. Um, a lot of times people think you can just roll into any office building or any type of, um, like, place where you could do the stream, but sometimes they have rules as to, you know, the type of equipment you can bring in or if you can load in at this certain time. So um, it's important to clear... The location like once we flew to San Francisco and the location wasn't clear so we had to switch locations on the day of the shoot mm. Angela remembers that one well yeah it was it was definitely a, a rough uh, rough pre-production but yeah we got it done we got it done and that's <laughs> <it counts. laughs> um, yeah and so I see what the budget is see what the vision is I find the right crew secure the right equipment I help book any travel if that's going on um, and then I attend the site survey with the technical director. Um, this is when me and Angela's roles kind of coincide where we'll both show up to the location, test the internet, talk with the client, make sure we know where all the cameras are going. Um, so the first thing that we do on the day of production is I drink a cup of coffee. It's very important. And um, then after that, I would like meet the crew at the office. Once we get to the venue, I'm kind of the main point of contact when it comes to like making sure everyone knows what they're doing and where they're gonna do it. So it's not like the producer's doing a ton of work, it's more the producer's coordinating all the other people that are you know, making the magic happen. Um, so that's what the coordinating of the crew is. Um, then I get everyone else coffee, an essential thing, you know. Mm -hmm. Once things are going, then, you know, Angela gets her iced latte with, um, or iced coffee with yeah. soy. <laughs> Very important. And then, Erica, I don't know, you drink coffee or? Uh, I just hydrate with good old quality H2O. Okay, mm -hmm. H2O. It's that's, probably healthier. That's mm -hmm. a... <laughs> <laughs> So another thing I do is I keep an eye on the clock during these productions to make sure we're going to get out on time. Um, and then I help with troubleshooting if Angela needs any help with that. Usually she doesn't. She's a pro. So, yes. um, but you never know with live production. It's very, you know, small things can go wrong and it's weird things every now and then. But we always kind of find a way. Um, and then I help distribute the stream. And then I suppose after the stream, you're like, what is the producer good for? You know, but... I would say, let me air these all out for you guys. Um, I help reconcile any expenses on these traveling productions, especially we like to make sure we're all lined up for what the client you know, agreed to pay with. Um, and then I host a debriefing call as well as follow up with any invoices on the crew, um, as well as like help archive the footage, make sure that everything's kind of buttoned up so that if we ever need to look back on it, you know, all the content is there. And then I help track the edits of any um, like sizzle reels or highlight reels or anything like that. Perfect. Yeah. So I am excited about this video um, because I like working with this client. Um, mm -hmm. We worked with um, UW Madison, the Badger Bash this year. Yes. Right? Yes. That was really fun. So we want to roll a clip of the BTS and cool. do, do a little narration. Yeah, for us. definitely. Let's do it. Let's do it. So every year uh, we've been doing, or the past two years, we've been working with Travel Wisconsin. Um, going to one of their large events and producing an hour-long live broadcast. Um, so this one was out in Madison, Wisconsin at the first Badger game. And so there's kind of a tailgate party that goes on in one of the campus buildings. And so we set up um, at this location and we had a wonderful talent that was greeting people on stage and uh, kind of hosting the event. We also had two wireless cameras, um, which was one of the challenges of the shoot um, was the wireless cameras. Um, but then also it was very windy that day of the shoot. 
Um, and so we were having a lot of audio problems with just the regular lavalier mics. Um, and so we solved that problem with some windscreens on the handheld mics. But the only problem was is that we only had one windscreen. So mm. we actually had to send one of our production assistants out to Guitar Center to get another windscreen. <laughs> and <laughs> it was a very expensive windscreen. <laughs> <Perfect>. <laughs> but, uh, it was great. Yeah, and there is our wonderful client. And we had, or, our, sorry, our talent. And um, it was a really fun show. The crew was really nice. Um, everyone got along and kind of put together a really nice product. Um, there's me and Angela in the control room keeping track of stuff, making it happen. And yeah, it, it's always a, it's always a fun show. You're right, Erica, that it's it's a good It is. Yeah. It's I loved a, it. it's a lot of people and it's fun doing these more complex productions cuz like everyone everyone needs to be involved and everyone is involved and when we all come together it all, you know, works out.